My name is Ron Gretemeyer. I own Helen's Bar and Grill here in North Kansas City for 18 years. Two years ago, I bought and built the Helen's on Wheels food truck just to extend my business. I kind of maxed out my parking and my bar and grill, and to expand my business, I had to look at new and exciting things to do because you've got to keep going for it. Uh, Rachel approached me about joining the food truck pod. I think it's very positive. I've committed to being there every day this month that we can be there, just so there's a presence there. So people do come to North Kansas City to see the food truck. Um, brought a lot of people to town. Um, I've been kind of tracking customers. Less than 10%, probably closer to 5% are our patrons are the high school students, although we welcome them all. But we have been bringing a lot of people to town. So my customer base with the bar, it comes from Cerner and people from the airport and all over. It brings people to North Kansas City. It's a very positive thing. We have gotten a ton of publicity over this, more than I could ever imagine. <laughs> <laughs> even New York City. Even New York City. <laughs> it's amazing. It's just amazing. But it's a very positive thing. North Kansas City can come out and it's looking very positive. It's. Um, I understand Phil's concern and uh, some of the other folks. I mean, it's uh, it's a competitive world out there. And it's, I mean, my biggest competitors are Chef Tito and Rachel. And, uh, I welcome them being next to me every day. They bring business to town. Rachel is a marketing whiz. She brings more people to town through Facebook and Twitter and her other events. It's just it's very positive. And I know this is probably going to go to the park board. Um, I'd provide any kind of documentation they need to promote this. A few things that I would change if it were up to me, I would actually move the food trucks from where they're sitting a little farther back toward, I guess, the baseball diamond and park there. Just for safety's reason, it's a little farther for people to walk, but most of our customers drive up anyway. But where we're parked now, we could move a little farther north and people wouldn't be trying to use the food truck as a drive through I mean, it's just a public safety thing where I know I, mean, I put big tables out there just to slow them down so they don't try and drive through and order from the window. But other than that, it's, it's been very positive. We've got very positive feedback. Um, I would actually like to see the hours expanded to where we could work in the park with for the Friday night concerts, some of the Saturday and Sunday baseball or softball tournaments, some other things. Like I said, the only thing I would change that move is just a little farther north, just as a safety precaution. You know, Riverside is promoting a food truck pod. The city is actually paid to put in electrical hookups, and water disposal, restroom. It's very impressive. Truthfully, I'd rather bring my money to North Kansas City. I've been here 18 years, and uh, the city is an exciting time for North Kansas City. Their little slogan is upstream from ordinary, and I find it offensive that they're referring to us as ordinary. We are not. Forward moving, the breweries, the distillery, the coffee rotisserie, every business in North Kansas City is exciting. Chapels is an internationally famous sports museum and restaurant. It's just a wonderful place to do business. We just need to continue doing business. I appreciate your time.